Well, it's been a while since we've checked in on our good friend Dave Rubin, and um, he doesn't seem to be doing that well. So he is doing comedy again, and some of you might be wondering again, when was he ever doing comedy? Apparently, Dave Rubin is a comedian. I'm not sure if he still identifies as a comedian. I would probably push back against that claim, but he used to do stand-up, and the old clips of his stand-up, we've talked about it before, were not good. They were pretty cringeworthy, but he's doing comedy again, and on his program, for whatever reason, he decided to do a parody of The View in full drag, and just a forewarning, this is one of the most cringeworthy things I've ever watched in my entire life, and I get that the word cringe is overused, uh, but this is quintessential cringe. It's painful to watch, so we'll watch his parody and then we'll talk about what he is trying to parody in the first place take a look what are you two crazy bitches talking about what are you talking about you want to arrest people who are different than you politically tulsi gabbard she's a member of our military she's a former congresswoman a democrat you just don't like her so you want to arrest her you want to arrest tucker carlson the very dapper tucker carlson I, what are you saying? You you guys are nuts. You're you're just nuts. I only agreed to do this show because I thought that Whoopi Whoopi was sane. She was good. Sister Act, Sister Act too. Anna's just nuts. I don't even know what she's doing here. The other one's a racist. And the, and the, there's the drunk one. I, what what is what are we all doing here? I, you people are everything that you've come to hate. You know that. Uh, why am I here? I need a haircut. Okay, that's oh, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so painful. It literally sent shivers down my spine. It's so bad. Oh, Dave, what were you thinking? Oh, my God. Oh, it hurts. The level of secondhand embarrassment that I feel. Oh, it honestly is almost... Nauseating. Oh, Dave, 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 stop. Oh my God. I, I, I don't even know how to react to that. It, it kind of threw me off a little bit. Oh, just painfully cringeworthy. Holy fucking shit. Dave, stop. It's time to reevaluate your life and start asking yourself, is this really the person who I want to be? Now, the ironic thing about that clip is He's kind of making a point that isn't insane. He's just making probably a more reasonable point, comparatively speaking, to what he usually says. Um, but he's doing it in the most cringeworthy way imaginable. So he's talking about The View discussing Tucker Carlson and, and uh, Tulsi Gabbard and how they may be Russian assets and perhaps we should have the DOJ investigate them. Not necessarily something that uh, I think that we should be advocating for openly as American citizens. I get that during times of war, people are up in arms, you know, they're emotional, but we have to uphold civil liberties. We can't resort to some new wave of McCarthyism. We have to respect the First Amendment. And as Justin Barragona of the Daily Beast put it in response to the view saying that we should investigate Carlson and Gabbard, we are really drifting into scary and dangerous territory here. And I agree with him here. He is no fan of Tulsi Gabbard or Tucker Carlson, neither am I. But to suggest that we should investigate Americans for saying what they said, I think that absolutely is a bridge too far. Um, we have the First Amendment in this country for a reason. And as much as you dislike what Tucker Carlson and Tulsi Gabbard says here, that doesn't mean that legally they should be prosecuted or penalized or investigated. We don't need McCarthy witch hunts. Uh, in 2022. Absolutely a horrible idea. So I understand the reason for Dave Rubin to kind of have this vis visceral response to what The View said here, but he did it in the most idiotic way imaginable. He actually could have made a cogent point had he chosen to, to respond like an adult. But instead, he did a parody where he dressed in drag and tried to do comedy, and it just it didn't work out very well for him. But let's explore what The View said here, because I do think this is an important conversation. So 
Tucker Carlson and Tulsi Gabbard, they have been basically parroting disinformation from the Kremlin. They're using pro-Putin talking points. Now, I'm not going to ascribe motive to them. I'm just going to tell you that they're parroting what the Kremlin wants them to parrot. Now, as Justin Barragona explains, in recent days, both Gabbard and Carlson have been proponents of the theory that the United States is developing dangerous bioweapons in Ukraine, a centerpiece of a Kremlin disinformation campaign to justify the invasion of its neighbor and potentially blame a Russian chemical weapons attack on a false flag operation. Clips of the ex-lawmaker on Carlson's show discussing bioweapons in Ukraine have been showcased across Russian state media alongside the Fox News host, saying Russian disinformation is true. Furthermore, it was reported reported this weekend that Moscow has pushed the state-controlled press to promote Carlson as much as possible because he sharply criticizes the actions of the United States and NATO. Now, the bioweapons claim is Russian state disinformation, as the article explains there, and it has been thoroughly debunked. And either wittingly or unwittingly, I mean, Tulsi Gabbard and Tucker Carlson are spreading talking points from the Kremlin. Now, that's bad, and I think that they should be condemned for doing that because they're aiding and abetting Putin here, at least rhetorically, and that's disgusting and egregious. Uh, but having said that, though, what The View recommends here is also disgusting and egregious. Two wrongs don't make a right, and then them saying something is egregious, but saying that they should be penalized legally for saying egregious things like that is also pretty gross. So take a look at what The View said. For me, the question is, what is in it for someone like Tucker Carlson, right? I money. mean, is it, is it money? It Who's paying be. him that money? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not making any allegations, but it's just, it doesn't make sense that he would do this kind of thing. I mean, he, he also says that the United States helped encourage the Russian invasion. He said the United States engineered a coup in Ukraine in the name of democracy. He, as we just mentioned, confirmed these Russian claims about bioweapons. Um, and he's characterizing this situation as a border dispute, right? God. And so what is in it for him? I know that he's visited Moscow and other places, and you can tell me in my ear if I'm wrong about that. But I, I just don't understand what the uh, impetus is. I hope, he's I, plan I hope he's planning to move to Moscow. <laughs> because uh, he's not going to be welcome here for much longer. I think... Um, do his viewers like it? Do his, do, I, I don't I know. Mean, I mean, I don't, want, I don't think the ratings support. have dropped at all. And look, I, I, but I think that's an incredibly relevant question. Yeah. And I think DOJ, in the same way that it is uh, setting up a task force to investigate oligarchs, should look into people who are Russian propagandists and shilling for Putin. That's being... If you are a foreign actor, asset uh, to a dictator, mm -hmm. it should be investigated. In fact, I remember when Tulsi Gabbard, mm -hmm. and I even hate that we're discussing it because I think to myself, who is this woman? She's a, you know, she's no longer in Congress. She's a failed presidential candidate. Yeah. She only pra practically exists on Twitter. And the fact that we're giving her oxygen is what makes her relevant, that we're talking about her on hot topics. But on the other hand, how do you not call out something that is repeating mm -hmm. false Russian propaganda and well, that has been brought down. They used to arrest people for doing stuff like this. If they thought you were uh, colluding with a Russian agent, if they thought you were putting out information or taking information and then handing over to Russia, yeah. they used to actually investigate stuff like this. And I guess now, you know, there seems to be no bars and people are not being told to hate Putin. Putin doesn't need a reason to be hated. It's pretty much clear. So I'm going to say it again. You can condemn Gabbard and Carlson as I do because these are terrible people with opportunistic, nefarious motives. But I don't think that we should just openly support this idea of prosecuting people because of things that they say. I think that even if they say things that are incredibly egregious, calling on the DOJ to investigate them on national television, saying we used to arrest people for saying things like this as if that's a good thing. That's... That's not a good thing. Again, during times of war, I get that emotions are high and it's easy to, you know, think, wow, these people are pushing uh, this this propaganda that's so harmful. So maybe we should take away civil liberties. I, I get people have the instinct to do that, but you have to fight against that instinct because during times of war, it's kind of like a stress test on our civil liberties and we have to uphold civil, civil liberties and the First Amendment. So I don't agree with them. I, I think that that's that's awful. But I also don't agree with Tucker Carlson and Tulsi Gabbard. What they're doing here, for whatever reason, is is sickening, but they shouldn't be prosecuted for saying it. Again, we don't need to turn this situation into 
a new wave of McCarthyist witch hunts. I think that that would be horrible because we saw the way that it turned out before during the Cold War, and we don't want to reignite that hysteria, right? We can condemn people like Tucker Carlson and Tulsi Gabbard without calling on them to be penalized legally. I think that that's the responsible thing to do, especially if you have a really large platform like the ladies on The, do, uh, on the View have. Now, in terms of what the motives are of Tulsi Gabbard and Tucker Carlson, I think that when it comes to Tulsi Gabbard, she just parrots what she hears from people who are popular like Tucker Carlson. He's saying this, so maybe she's saying it in response. I don't know who said it first, really, to be honest. So I think that she just kind of parrots what she hears in her circles. Tucker Carlson, I have no idea, but I think that the theory that is most persuasive to me is that, like a lot of white nationalist far-right Americans, he subscribes to the philosophy of Alexander Dugin, who is a Russian philosopher who is a theocratic fascist. And a lot of far-right people in America, like Steve Bannon, for example, have taken a liking to him, and they follow Dugin, uh, and they subscribe to Duganism. And the Young Turks did a really great video explaining this, so I won't get into that here. But Tucker Carlson has quoted Dugin on his show before, not necessarily... Um, in a positive light, he tried to make it seem more neutral, right? This is something that the uh, Russian military reads, and it's better than what we read here in the United States and what our military reads. So that's my theory. I think that perhaps, you know, uh, Tucker Carlson is more sympathetic to the Russian war of aggression because perhaps he subscribes to Duganism. I'm not really sure, but what he's saying is absolutely disgusting. And, you know, like it or not, he's shilling for the Kremlin. He may not want to admit that, but unwittingly or wittingly, he's doing the bidding of the Russian state disinformation uh, machine, and that's that's pretty gross, and it needs to be condemned. But at the same time, I don't think that he should be arrested for that. If we start being overly skeptical of people because we fear that they may be shilling for Russia or on the payroll of Russia, that's when you also get into a different sort of dangerous territory, right? I mean, with 9-11, civil liberties were destroyed. Right. George W. Bush signed the Patriot Act into law and we never got those civil liberties back that we lost. The American people were scared and they thought that the government needed more authority. And we now know that the government used their power that they got from the Patriot Act to do warrantless surveillance on American citizens. So we have to be really cautious. Even if you're scared, you shouldn't call for people to be investigated because you are suspicious of them because they say something bad. You can condemn them for saying bad things without calling for legal prosecution. It's really important that we uphold the First Amendment. And, you know, that's kind of, I think, the point that Dave Rubin was making here. But Dave Rubin gets no credit because Dave Rubin is a hypocrite. He likes to pretend as if he supports freedom of speech. But when it comes to BDS, he's silent. When it comes to instances where left-wingers are being censored unnecessarily so, he's silent. So he is a hypocrite. Having said that, though, to be fair to him, the point that he's making here, or trying to make, I think, is uh, at least more valid than other points that he's made, but for some reason he chose to do a parody and make a fool of himself rather than just being an adult and making a valid point. Ultimately, the parody, Dave, it's bad, and you should delete it from the internet if possible. I think that once that's out there, you're not really going to put the cat back in the bag. I mean, I'm re-uploading it, so I'm not going to take that down, but just learn from this experience don't do comedy, Dave. You're not a comedian. You might think that you're a comedian. You're not a comedian. It's cringeworthy. It's damaging to yourself more so than uh, you've already done. It just, uh, I'm thinking about the parodies, honestly, really just making me disassociate. I, I wish I didn't see it. And you're probably going to be mad at me for showing it to you viewers, but I'm, I'm so, so sorry. I, I had to share it with you, but um, yeah, Let's not start a new wave of McCarthyism. Let's condemn people who are useful idiots for Russian disinformation. And let's also all agree that Dave Rubin should not be doing comedy. Maybe take back everything that I said about protecting a First Amendment and maybe have the DOJ actually investigate Dave Rubin for doing that. That's, that's free speech that none of us can get behind. I'm kidding, of course, but that was bad. Holy shit. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas.